Hello everyone. I came up with an interesting idea on how to do content, specifically clothing content, so now I've got to test it. And to do that, I've gone ahead and I've built this very, very primitive model, and I'm about to turn it into an avatar. I'm going to make a quick series on it. Um, this model was built using a very simple skin and subsurface mesh system. Um, you can see tutorials on that uh, everywhere YouTube is available. But I'll just turn it into a mesh, like so. And I'm going to save it real fast here because there's no reason to overwrite the uh, existing base mesh. So I need to delete half of this mesh so that I can get it properly mirrored, otherwise editing the verts is a little bit annoying. There you go. Now there's, this mesh has a lot of idiosyncrasies to it because of the fact that it was created using the uh, skin modeling. The Some of the loops are pretty terrible and this area looks awkward, and that looks awkward specifically so that the loops wouldn't be too terrible because they actually are significantly worse if you're not careful with this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag this into some semblance of um, a crotch. Now I could be using the um, uh, editing with the weights turned on so that I would be dragging them along, but I'm not ready to do that just yet. Now one of the things you'll notice as I modify this mesh is that I'm making a fairly chubby character, and that's actually part of the plan. I need to have a fairly chubby base mesh uh, because that makes it easier to go both fat and skinny. If you're chubby when you start, then it's a short distance to fat, it's a short distance to skinny, and you don't have a whole lot of mesh deform that, uh, that works out poorly. Uh, now you can see that this isn't really a very uh, good shape for anything like a leg or anything, so we're going to go ahead and just use some Y scaling to quickly bulk it up a little bit. That might be too much Y scaling. And I'll work on the lower leg later if I'd like. I probably won't do that on screen. Um, the next thing I want to do, because it's on screen uh, while I have this recording, um, the torso is way too low, uh, low res. And the reason it's too low res, uh, I mean, the reason I need so much more resolution is because we need to make a fairly chunky character, which means they're going to have quite a bit of a belly and bust just to make sure that they are I mean they're not going to be they're not going to be heavy heavy but they're going to be heavy enough that it'll be real noticeable so to that end what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and extrude from this region but you'll notice that the topology up here is really ugly I mean we've got some crazy uh, crazy bad top topology up here uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and sort this out this madness because um, we don't need anywhere near this many uh, edges in this region. It just makes things more complicated. Alright, so what I can do is I can actually merge these guys, like so, and then I can fuse here, and fuse here. And then I can bring this guy forward, and there we've got our clavicle. This guy, take him down. They may be, uh, they may be ladies. These verts, I don't care. Um, just saying, this guy out of sheer habit. Uh, so we've got an issue here where the chest area is not. Uh, it has this awkward loop that comes down rather than correctly joining up, and we need to fix that because otherwise we will have an awkward um, awkward bust. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we did before and merge these two points, except that's not what we want to do at the moment, because if we merge them now, we're going to get this really aggressive uh, stripe. What we actually want to do is we want to have another loop coming up um, up here, but this is a bad place to put it. The way that these these loops happened to fall is not very agreeable to what we need. So we're going to manually add in the loop we need, and it's, where it's going to be is it's going to be up this area. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put this loop in here, like so. 
and this will be the loop we need to get our chest and uh, belly working correctly. But you can see that it's one short, so we've got uh, two options here. We can either put in another loop in this area, or we can take this shoulder loop out of the picture. And since this shoulder loop is actually quite awful, well, I guess it's not. It actually does serve a purpose. So we're going to go ahead and add ourselves a second loop here. Make it pretty high density. That's okay. This area needs to be pretty high density. And I'm sorry for the sudden, loud, looping drums in the background. I'm not sure who thought that was a great idea, but um, someone has just started blaring hilariously terrible uh, drums. Someone must have got a drum machine for their birthday. Nope. All right, so now I've got a much more uh, streamlined chest area because we've repaired the topology that we were having trouble with. And if you're wondering what uh, sort of difference this makes, you can go back and take a look at how it was a minute ago, and you'll see that we have a much, much grace, more graceful set of lines here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and extrude to get ourselves a belly that properly folds. And we're also going to extrude a bust. And the question we have to ask ourselves is what we're going to do here. Um, I think that what we want to do is put in another line here, uh, bring this up and in. The reason that I put that line below is because if I'd put it above, it would have gotten tangled in this nasty shoulder crap, and I didn't want to deal with that. I can always switch up exactly where it is later if I want. No biggie. Alright, and this actually gives us a good line because uh, the belly is something which does have uh, an oval shape. It's not a straight up and down system. So um, you can see that what we've got here is we've got this kind of loop and that'll give us a good curve when we extrude. Um, and this, however, will not give us a good curve. Uh, this will be a little bit awkward but that's okay. Um, later on I might make a version that has a proper proper hip mesh, um, a hip loops rather, so that I don't get that, but that's okay. For now, it's just a prototype. We don't need it to work uh, that well. So just hit the side view and extrude, and there's our belly. Not very impressive. How about that? There we go. Now this is a bad Oh, I should turn clipping back on. That could be... Try that again, this time with clipping on. And let's just reshape the back a little bit. Now we'll have to do the butt the same way because it's not... it doesn't exist at the moment. Um, so this is not a really great belly as it stands, but it's a good start for one, and it can be easily reshaped into a decent belly by simply taking a look at how these loops should be going. And that's something along the lines of something like this. Yeah, that's a, that's a really, really great crappy drum loop you've got running back there, guy. I sure hope that is a real rapper that is on that sucky drum machine, because if someone has been recording that, they should be ashamed of themselves. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and extrude a bust line. The default character is female, uh, because it's actually easier to, um, to create a female character and then turn it male, rather than vice versa, just due to the fact that you get extra mesh topologies that are, uh, the meshes turn out to be more difficult to go from male to female than female to male. But you can see that we've got this hook here, and so to fix that, we're not going to change what we extruded, we're instead going to pull down this area and give ourselves a, uh, a more sloped connection like this, and then we can take these and select all of them one by one because I'm not thinking very hard. Smooth them down, pull them out, pull them down. And you can see that what we've got is we've got this uh, this highly unpleasing um, stretching. These, uh, these are all stretched awkwardly, but we have enough complexity. They're only stretched awkwardly because of how we did it. 
So we're going to go ahead and smooth this out so that all of these verts are more or less creating faces of the same size. We don't need the uh, we don't need the the horrible system that we were using. But this is a, about the point where I start to break out the proportional editing because now we can start to turn this into something that looks more like a body. Um, for now, uh, the character is um, well, I mean, the character isn't bad. If we were to turn on smooth uh, shading uh, and then put in a subsurface, you can see that it's a cartoony character, but it's not absolutely terrible, and it's still got uh, some work that needs to be done back here if we wanted to use it for very long. But I'm not entirely sure that I'll bother. All I really need to do is have a character where I can create some blend keys for it. Oh, that's way too big a radius. Uh, all I need, really need to do is have a character where I can uh, create some blend keys for it and uh, test out some theories on how that sort of system will work. And let's pull this guy forward and up. There we go. This guy up. There we go. Um, and these guys in. Uh, that's not very proportional. Here. Come on, more proportional. Uh, that's not going to work. Well, whatever. So the butt. Um, if you've ever done any modeling of characters before, you will know that the butt is an annoying spot. It's not as annoying as the shoulder, but it's pretty annoying. And it really depends on how much detail you need to put in. Uh, and that really depends on, on whether or not the main player is going to be staring at that butt the whole game or not. And I don't mean that necessarily in a sexual way. It's If it's a third-person game, the back of your character is vastly more important. But we're actually going to be in a first-person game, and these are only going to be visible on NPCs. So we don't need to have a complicated butt. We're going to have a simple butt. And the only question is whether we want to extrude from here or here. I think this is fine. Oh, they've added in some synthetic guitar solos. Yeah, that's brilliant. Okay, I once again need to um, turn off clipping and extrude and give ourselves some separate cheeks. Like this. Oh, what happened there? Like this. And you can see that the smoothing only works on the faces where we that existed when we told it to shade smooth. But that's easy enough to fix. Yep, it is a live wrapper. I guess that excuses his awfulness. He's shouting that it's party time. It's Thursday. Maybe you should come back tomorrow. Then it will actually be party time. Um, even though I said this character was supposed to be chubby, I kind of stim uh, went into skinny mode on the on the butt. So let's try that again with some more significant buttage, as it were. And we'll just pull these out. Oh, come on, why did you revert? Don't revert on me. Uh, this needs to be massaged so that it's not quite so um, aggressively dimpling that region. There we go. All right, so we have a very basic character model here. Now, depending on how you want to play it, we could uh, modify this forever and, uh, and work on things like, uh, for example, these are stretched. We might want to fix that. Um, and there are a few ways we could go around doing that. Uh, one of the ways we could do that is simply rip here, and then pull this guy down, and this guy down. And we could figure out how to fill that area in. But I don't feel like doing that sort of work. Uh, what I'm instead going to do is launch straight into the uh, shape keys, because this is a good enough model for my demonstration purposes. Even though, of course, its arms are uh, more or less unformed, and I guess I can probably add a little bit of um, meat to the legs. They don't have to be quite that skinny. Yeah, like that. And then I can just take this and smooth it. Scale it again. And uh, down here, smooth. smooth. Oh, too many smooths. There we go. And I mean that's not great, but it'll do for now. Um, and you can. This is not. I want to stress that a lot of these are not uh, methods you'd use if you were creating a, a good 
character model. This is just a prototype. Anyhow, that's it for just turning that um, that skin model into an actual model here. Uh, one of the things I want to note is that this warping will actually diminish significantly as the model uses its blend keys, um, because anything that makes a chest tighter uh, will end up pulling this region up and lowering that skew. So we do have to keep in mind where the verts are going to end up, but for now, this is good enough.